thought we were going there. Well, I asked for the Mod Garrett vagina sized jacket. And uh, that's what they gave me. Well, if that's the case, your jacket looks amazing. Hello, and welcome back to Your Geekly News. I'm Maude Garrett. And I'm Steve Zaragoza. It smells real bad, though. Beloved American author Kurt Vonnegut's timeless novel, Cat's Cradle, is being adapted for FX and will be showran by Fargo showrunner Noah Hawley. The show will take place in a dystopian sci-fi world and will satirize the Cold War arms race. I, for one, can't wait, as well as all of Los Angeles' manic pixie dream girls who own most of Vonnegut's books but haven't read any of them. Ooh, you hit the nail on the head. That's on the nose. Yeah. That one there. I'll read it one day. My friend lent it to me in 2009. Oop. Whoa. Oh, I'll get there. I also hear if you pretend to be excited about the new show in a Whole Foods, you'll make new attractive friend zone friends who collect records and love thrift stores. Mm. What a bargain. <laughs> I love those hipsters. <laughs> Director Edgar Wright, who directed such films as Shaun of the Dead, You Have a Little Bit of Red on You, and Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, is set to direct and co-write his first animated feature about shadows with DreamWorks Animation. David Walliams of Little Britain fame, yes it's Walliams, will write the script along with Wright and rightly delight and perhaps even fright. Am I right? Nice work, I didn't peg you for bright. I for one also hope Simon Pegg is in the film. Thank you, Maude. Ha ha ha! They're making a Tetris movie! There, I said it. But thankfully it's not going to be like the Battleship movie with a forced narrative based off of a fucking board game. No. Thanks, shit. This movie instead will be about the creation of Tetris and Russian creator Alexei Petunov. Brett Ratner will produce and the film will reportedly be like the social network in town. <laughs> I got there. Well, let's just hope the actors work extra hard on their blocking. I just hope they remember all of their lines. <laughs> Hopefully the studio gets the all clear on this one. <laughs> They really shouldn't be rushing to release this. <laughs> oh man, that game, boy. Oh good God, I love you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> In Star Wars news, pre-sales for The Force Awakens has already reached 50 million credits. This is quite frankly, incredibly impressive. Now Most incredibly impressive. <clears throat> I want to sex with you. <clears throat> to put this into perspective, the second highest pre-sales was half of this for The Dark Knight Rises. Considering there's still 28 days to buy tickets before its December release, then most likely will be in cinemas for quite some time afterwards, it's safe to say that Disney will look like this. How does that senior citizen duck do that? I would be more concerned with how a, du a duck can talk. Hmm. Moving on to comic book news, fans of Batman would have known that back in 2004, DC Comics announced Batman Europa by Supreme artist Jim Lee, where the Dark Knight and the Joker break out of Gotham to cause trouble in Europe. Fast forward 11 years of it not happening, and finally, it's here. Sort of like having an orgasm in bed with you. Where it is, this is pretty good. Kinda like being in bed with me. You know what, was it worth the wait? You tell us. Mm, Below. Not light, not at all. It was not the, worth the wait to make love to you. In the comments, let us know if you've read this particular comic. And since our very own Sam Basher is such a big DC fan, let's cut to him live on location on the Green Lantern planet of Oa, Sam. <laughs> What a precious tiny space boy. Oh. Hope he's okay. And if you've always wanted to find and use all the Dragon Balls, Japan has gone one better. If you go to Donka Dinner in Nagoya, you can actually eat Dragon Balls. Yum! Made up of collagen jelly and pieces of carrot, these Dragon Balls are served up in a hot pot or nabe in Japanese. I can't imagine they're too delicious, but damn, if they won't help summon the dragon in your belly. Okay. Or Smaug in yours. You really are dragging that joke, Mod. Balls. <clears throat> well, that's it from Balls. us. Balls. I'm Mod Garrett, and remember, when we know, you'll know. <laughs> Steve, you're breathing very loudly. That's because I can't handle your stench, Mod. Hey, I'd like to take you out to dinner sometime. That's Maybe to that, uh, thing. yeah, that chili place in Burbank. I just don't want them to mistake your vagina for a bowl of their famous chili. Are you gonna pay for the meal at least?
Kale! You like leaves, or your friend likes leaves. I'm a terrible artist. These look like bad lollipops. My point is, if you're looking for a massage, why not wear this sweater and say, hey, why don't you massage the kale? It's branding. Don't you forget about me. To really emphasize Jew, I would like more stars of David.